Good morning, folks. Hello. Oh, yeah, oh, let's do that. that. So good morning. <laughs> good morning again. Woo! Do better than that. We've got to be louder than next door, right? That's the rule. Okay. Let's try it again. One, two, three. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> oh, see. So they're giving us a round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have to be louder during the day. We're going to have to. <laughs> We're going to okay. need your help in this. We so, should say hello, right? Fair point. Okay. So How do you want to go first? You. Okay, my name is Liz Rice. I'm Chief Open Source Officer at ISOvalent. Uh, I've been on the program committee for today, so uh, I'm really excited about our lineup. Sarah? And I am Sarah Novotny, and I lead open source strategy for Microsoft. And I am super excited about this because eBPF is just super cool tech. Uh, longtime sysadmin, longtime nerd in the open source space. So it's always fun to watch the new evolutions as people bring them forward. So speaking of the new Evolution. tech, um, maybe we'll just talk a little bit about what we've got to look forward to today. So we've got, uh, we're going to be hearing about eBPF technology. We're going to be hearing some end user stories. We've got IKEA talking about how they use eBPF. We're going to be hearing about writing eBPF on, in Rust. We're going to be hearing about eBPF running on Windows. We've got representation from, I think, all the cloud native CNCF eBPF projects. So it's a great yeah. group here, and this is a key thing to remember. We have not had these opportunities to get together like this, having high bandwidth conversations, high trust conversations, and a little bit of high stress conversations because we're at events. The thing that is most important to know about events is because of that little bit of high stress our bodies actually go to a space where we make tighter connections. So all of those connections we've had from conferences that feel really special, they are. And we've weakened those ties over the last two years. So take the time to repair those ties, take the time to invest in those ties, and meet new people to talk about new tech, because this is the launch point for our next six months of collaboration. I am personally very excited to be in the same room as other people. So it's three dimensional human, actual three totally dimensions. nifty. Yeah. For those of you who are watching virtually, you are Hello just as, as welcome. Well. Hi to you. Um, there is the Slack channel as well. It's mm -hmm. going on the screen every now and again. It's number three, something like Cloud Native eBPF Day. You'll find it. Use that Slack channel if you want to ask questions during the day. That's or just virtual to say people. Hello. We'll try it. You can ask local people. You can also ask questions there. Maybe help each other answering questions there. That's also great. And then, of course, uh, we will try to work with you all to do Q&A with speakers as we can and as time allows. I just want to get a little bit of a show oh, of hands. Yeah. How many of you here are working on eBPF projects today? Ooh, Let's see out that's there. very Quite a nice. Few. Yeah. And how many of you are end users who might be using eBPF tools? Yeah, quite oh, a lot. More. Awesome. Even more than working on it. That's great. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, do we have people who are eBPF curious today? Very nice. Oh, also a similar number as contributors. That's great. And lastly, what is somebody call out? What's your most preferred, most interested talk? Or a couple of you call them out. What's the one you're really looking forward to today? Really? Energy? Come on. <laughs> IKEA, yes. woo! We're all looking forward to IKEA. Anybody else? All right, the rest of you all can go home. No, I take that back. No, no, no. We'll do all the talks. They'll be great. And I'm, I'm personally looking forward to the Rust one because I've been watching that community uh, evolve and figure out where that's all going. So, yeah. All right, I think with no further ado, let's get started. So, uh, I think, Thomas, if you're ready. We should welcome to the stage for uh, an insight into the future of eBPF. My colleague, my friend, Thomas Graff, he's one of the originators of eBPF. So, uh, you know, if, if you want to hear the real truth about it, he is the person to tell you. So, welcome, Thomas. Yeah. Please join us in welcoming him. Come on. John, a little bit of noise. Round of applause. Thank you. 